right, so earlier this morning, Bob, we were talking about some uh, just wet pavement of mm -hmm. some passing showers overnight, but it's coming down out there right now. Yeah, we'll take a look at radar in just a moment. And for you folks like our own Kelsey Anderson, who attended the ski swap, yeah. check out this time lapse. This Very is, exciting. This is Brundage Mountain starting at noon yesterday, dry at the snow stake, not to mention uh, that they do have some snow on the ground there, some pretty good coverage. But as we look at the time stamp, there are 11, there's midnight, there's one. As we head towards three, Whoa, oh, there it is. that's this morning between three and 6 a.m. Two new inches at least wow, at Brunage Mountain. I love it. That's breaking weather news, and you won't see that on any other morning show, no siree. Here's our Veterans Day forecast. We're looking at 46 for our high on Wednesday, mostly sunny skies, mostly cloudy in the afternoon, a slight chance of some showers, too. Here's our weather headlines. And we're looking at a wet start to the week, breezy for tomorrow, and then drier after Wednesday. We're talking about some uh, snow. Here's why it's snowing up there. You can definitely see our West Central Mountains getting in on some of that precip. A lot of rain in the western end of the valley in Ontario, especially. Uh, Caldwell also uh, seeing some pretty good downpours. Not so much for Nampa and Boise, but we're seeing some light rain here and definitely some more mountain snow. Here's a little closer inspection. Caldwell still seeing some pretty good showers in portions of Caldwell. We do have some winter weather advisories for the mountains to the north, to the northwest, and also down south. So if you're driving to the north and to the south, basically, you're going to run into some winter weather conditions. Here's our live look outside. We do have some wet pavement out there this morning. Current temperature 44. Winds at 9 miles per hour. Feels like temperature 39. 31 for Stanley. 33 for McCall and Boise at 44. For this Monday, November the 9th, we're forecasting a high of 48. Just slightly below normal and the overnight low very close to normal. We have a low pressure trough. You can see the circulation just off our northwest coast and spokes of moisture will rotate across our area. That's why it's going to be a bit unsettled for today. Some clouds and some showers and some mountain snow and more precip just downstream. Here's our future cast computer model. This is 9 o'clock. Definitely have some uh, showers in the vicinity of Boise. Then tapering off a bit. There's 9 o'clock by tonight. And then clearing up from the west to the east. Another storm system moving in for Wednesday. This one uh, takes a track to the north. We do have a slight chance of some showers for Veterans Day, but most of the action will be to the north. Here is our regional forecast. Looking at some rain and snow showers, snow level 4,500 feet, much cooler temperatures for Sun Valley, two to three inches of snow possible above about 5,000 feet. 5,000 feet is the snow level in McCall and Cascade too. one for the valley, two to three inches for the mountain locations, cloudy with rain showers for the western end of the valley and cloudy with rain showers and cooler for Canyon County and Boise as well. 70% chance of rain throughout the day, slight chance of showers tomorrow, mainly in the morning, then becoming breezy in the afternoon for Veterans Day. Starts off mostly sunny, becoming cloudy with a slight chance of showers, then mostly sunny and dry after that. That's like weather.